and uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm just um, on the Cotswold Canal network. Uh, I'm parked up on the roundabout um, for the A38 on the A419. Um, it's something you may have seen recently. They, they put a, uh, on the roundabout, they've put the uh, two bridges on and took the canal underneath. As you can see, I'm kind of walking down the old line now. Um, I'm walking away from the, uh, from the roundabout at the moment. Um, just up uh, towards towards the River Seven. Um, well, I'm up online today just to show you where we are. It's a great tool uh, for both canals and railways for tracking old lines uh, and existing ones. Uh, thank you to Matthew Bromley for letting us using it, and to Chris Lowe for designing the canal side. So I'm just we're going to have a little look in about this section here, roughly. Um, it's part of the Cotswold Canal Networks on the old Stroud Water Navigation running from Sale down to, to, uh, to Stroud uh, by Stonehouse. Uh, you've got the M5 going up through here uh, and the A38 going across here with the A419 going that way. Uh, we've flooded the drone up and over here. This this is the main concentration today. Um, the, the double bridge they built on the roundabout on the A38 and we're taking a little look at up and down here uh, and, and what's planned for the future. They're currently uh, working on this little section here to link up under the bridge. Um, a lot of this network down here is already in water uh, with boats on, I believe. So after abandonment in uh, 1946, um, this section of the canal was obliterated basically by the um, M5 being built and the uh, A38 dual carriageway. Um, there was a, a section of about a mile that was uh, was heavily destroyed. Um, so when the Cotswold Canal Network were founded, that there were various other things first before coming all together as the Cotswold, which is the Stroud Water and the Thames and Seven. Um, they, they aimed to open it all from Seoul uh, right through to the Thames um, in English English. Um, so. They've received a lot of funding um, from various places, uh, quite a bit from the lottery. Um, it's uh, I'm not too sure if it's finished yet, but there's five miles through um, Stonehouse and Stroud, which um, was was funded um, by the lottery. I, I think that might be done now. Um, I'm pretty sure the bit in Stroud is definitely done, as well as some of the joining sections. Um, uh, they've had two million from the government homes, um, uh, which will uh, regenerate Brinscombe Port, um, and about twenty million pound from the Lottery Heritage Fund, which has gone towards restoring the missing links, uh, which include um, the missing mile, uh, which we're looking at today. Highways England also put four million pound down, which you might think is a bit weird considering that. You know, highways, not canals, but in fact, um, the, they are given funding uh, based on the fact that um, the damage they've done in the past. So it's, it's like a heritage fund as such. Um, uh, so, yeah, that that's paid for the, the for, for the for the crossing, um, and now there's some more work going down um, down towards the river. Which the, the twenty million does include all of that. It's released in stages of about I don't know, maybe nine million of it at the moment. So um, uh, back to the highways. It, it's to basically improve uh, mitigate mitigating damage, damage from the past, improving uh, many things. Uh, it, it, it's an economic reason. It's um, uh, for um, ecology and, and everything really. So. Um, biodiversity, um, landscape and quality, and, uh, and long-term impact. Um, so after this section um, from the from the bridge, it drops down um, one meter for the M5. Um, it's then going to go under the M5 under the existing bridge. It's um, the clearance is only about one and a half meters. Uh, on the current bridge from the from the river level up to the to the to the bottom of the bridge, uh, which isn't enough for boats. So the canals are actually going to drop lower um, than the river, from what I gather. Uh, so it's a two and a half minutes meter clearance. 
Uh, it's then going to come up on the other side of the M5, which you'll see in the drone footage. Um, and then it's got a 1.65 metre rise then, back up, um, going up towards the old uh, original route, um, uh, which the, it goes under an existing bridge, which survives, uh, and then on to the remains of Westfield Lock, which was partially destroyed in the 60s. I think they, they uh, built a culvert or something like that through it. So, um, yeah, and then that joins the old network there, um, which goes on down towards Stonehouse and Stroud. Nice bunker here. An old uh, pillbox, even. So, pillboxes were built all through um, areas like canals and rivers and main roads and stuff in the Second World War. Uh, to defend key routes. So obviously this canal going from uh, the Seven all the way across was was deemed um, was important enough to build one for. Can't get into this one. I'm going to put the camera in. It's 360 cameras. We should get a good view. So the bridges uh, were completed in, I think it's 2020. Um, it was built in conjunction with Gloucester County Council, uh, uh, Cotswold Canal Trust, Highways England and Stroud District Council, um, and um, completed by um, Alan Griffiths as a contractor. We're walking back towards it now. Uh, I'll get a drone up over it as usual. It's fairly good weather today for uh last day of November uh, October you can see just ahead now the first of the bridges so this will all be dug out and uh will be part of the of the old line. Now at the um, where the roundabout is now it was originally a um, stone arched bridge um, and a lock as well that was all destroyed. So 
Synaxis track on the other side there. This is uh, my first time down there. I've driven over it quite a few times. I've got a friend who lives just down the road. Um, hi Luke. <laughs> um, I could see on the drone footage there was a section that looked a bit more restored up here and a bridge and stuff. So I thought I'd just take a little wander up and have a little look. It's a beautiful day for the 31st of October. Absolutely stunning out. I don't know if it's just got water in because it's um because it's the the clay helps keep the water down that uh, keeps the water in the, the clay never really disappears unless it's sort of dug out or if it's um actually been restored it looks like it's been restored to me because uh, you normally find it completely overgrown like that section further back as I said I'm, I'm not I haven't got huge knowledge on this section um See the bridge just down here. It's quite an impressive red bridge, a uh, red uh, brick arch. It's uh, a pretty clear route actually. Needs some reeds pulling and stuff, but um, wouldn't take long to do. So the the network itself has had loads of. Um, Loads of luck of late is uh, well not luck it's hard work. But they've had um, quite a bit of funding. Uh, if you go through Stroud now, there's loads loads of canal restored there. They've had this bridge, various other things. I don't think it'll be that long before we see um, see boats on it. I'm pretty sure further down there's boats already on it. Beautiful oak tree. Actually, it doesn't look that deep, so I think it probably is. Um, it's just being held in there. It's full of, full of uh, sediment, by the looks. I would say they graze cattle on here, and they they come in by the state of these banks. You're not going to get many boats past there, look. But it's uh, overall, it seems to be in pretty good good condition actually up here. Said uh, the section behind us was the missing mile, so that was one of the major obstructions to um, to ever restoring this canal. And that that seems to be uh, cured now. It's kind of like the M4 crossing, I think, on the Wilkes and Barks. Once that's through, there'd be loads happening because. It's going to open up so much more land and, and canal network. <laughs> 